Hey guys, it's Poxbro. Welcome to this Fallout 76 guide. Today I'm going to be talking about the Gatling gun and how to get the plan for it, legendary crafting, legendary effects that you would want on the gun, and uh, overall like how to use it for uh, your build. In my opinion, this is one of my favorite guns in the game, and I think it is like one of the best guns in the game for heavy weapons, um, just because of the ammo efficiency and the damage that it deals um, with that efficiency. All right, so the first thing that I want to talk about is how to actually get the plan for the gun so that you can use legendary crafting to start rolling for legendary versions of it. Uh, right now, I am at Vendorbot Phoenix in the Watoga Shopping Center, which is right here in the bottom right of the map. And you can also go to a vendor in White Spring, which I'll show you right after. Um, but essentially, you go up to this spot, you go to trade, you can navigate to notes, scroll all the way down to plan and then gatling gun and this plan is only available to players level 20 and above so if you're below level 20 you're not going to see the plan here and it is 3000 caps which is kind of pricey um but you can go ahead and use like anything to boost charisma like some charisma perk cards or be on one of those public teams that gives you charisma and then you can just kind of or like even consume some chems to allow you to get as much charisma as possible and then you can lower the cost and get it for cheap um so that, that's where you can buy it from you can buy it from here and learn it or you can go ahead and go to or we can go to the white spring resort once we're at the white spring resort we want to go ahead and go down these steps go to all of the vendors and look for the uh, bos vendor here we go so this is the brotherhood vendor it is inside the uh creekside lodge building right here Local goods, Brotherhood of Steel, there's a little sign outside. So we can go in here, and this is the second location, or the second vendor that offers this um, blueprint as well. Right here, Gatling Gun. And I think it's the same price, so either vendor works, and then you know just use, use some charisma uh, buffs to lower the price, purchase it, learn it, and then now you can go to a weapon bench and um, roll away with it. So that's how you can find the plan for the gun, but if you don't care about crafting the gun with some extra like durability using some perk cards or something, then and you just like want the gun itself, then we can go ahead and go to Lucky Hole Mine and just get a gun spawn. Um, that way you don't have to spend any caps on buying the plan. So let's go here. And we want to go ahead and go into the interior of the mine. Alright, so once we're inside the mine, we're going to be looking for a path with a blue door and beyond the door is going to be a altar with a cultist rathling and this rathling cultist has a i think a guaranteed chance to drop the gatling gun so let's go ahead and find them so right here on the left there are these blue double doors after running down the mine all right through these blue doors and then we're just going to keep going down and right here we can see that there is a cultist at some sort of um Wow, there's a lot of cultists. Is that the one using the Gatling gun? I think that might be the one using the Gatling gun. I think just killed him. And here we go, we have a short Gatling gun, and this is a guarantee spawn for it, so every time that you kill this cultist rath rathling, um, it should give you a short Gatling gun, and then you can just take that to a weapon bench and modify it. And uh, modifying it will allow you to make it legendary. Um, so yeah, those are the two methods to obtain the Gatling gun. You can find one here, or you can just um, get the plan and craft it yourself. Alright, so now that we have the plans and you can learn them, I'm going to go ahead and go into the crafting details and like legendary effects. So there's going to be a couple different receivers that you can put on it. You can put the prime receiver, speed receiver, or the standard receiver on the Gatling gun. And the best one is going to be the prime receiver, because this is like an ammo efficient weapon, we don't really need more attack speed or increased fire rate. It would be much better to just have superior damage, and especially against Scorch Beast and Scorch type enemies. Uh, so getting a Prime Receiver is going to be ideal. Um, the only way to really get a Prime Receiver though is either through trade um, with like actual players, or by getting lucky and killing a Scorch Beast, and then getting a Prime Receiver drop from the Scorch Beast or Scorch Beast Queen. And then that Prime Receiver has to happen to be the Gatling Gun. I believe that's the still the only method to get Prime Receivers. And then the next one is the barrel. So there's, there's the short or the long barrel. And long barrel is just going to be directly better because it just gives you extra range pretty much. Uh, next is the comfort grip or the standard grip. Comfort grip is going to be the go-to because you get some increased recoil fire accuracy 
at the cost of durability, but I think that's still worth it. And then we have the standard magazine, and then we have the extra large magazine. So, you would think that the extra large magazine is pretty good, but you have longer reload speeds, and the standard magazine is already 150 rounds, which I think is plenty for most things. Uh, another thing is in first person, if you are a first person player and you have the uh, drum magazine attached, when you aim down the sight, you're just going to be seeing the drum magazine. Like right here would would just be the drum magazine. You would barely see above the drum magazine. So you, you pretty much have to aim using the drum magazine, which I really, really didn't like. Um, and it just really kind of covers your vision. Whereas this regular magazine is like slanted off so that you can still see your crosshair. Um, so I really hated using the drum magazine and just eventually went back to standard. Next is the sights. Uh, you could attach a front sight, but I personally don't like using or aiming with the front sight. But if you want the stats, you probably should add it, which gives improved focus and sighted accuracy. Um, it's just like a, when I play in first person, I don't like using the sight because it's not very, uh, it's not very like sighted in if that makes sense like your crosshair and the and the gun sight will not be matched um and it like bothered me a lot while aiming but it does give stat boosts that are useful um next is a bayonet or no muzzle you know if you're gonna be bashing a lot i guess i could see justifying a bayonet but for the most part it'll just give you less range so i don't think it's worth having a muzzle on and then of course for the paint you can put on whatever you whatever you got um so that's pretty much everything for all of the mod slots Next, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the legendary attributes. So right now on this one, I have explosive bullets explode, and then I've got the anti-armor, which is ignores 50% of your target's armor. If you are a non-bloodied build, then anti-armor is still going to be the number one best bet. Um, as far as I know, I don't think while I was away from playing this game, uh, there was any major changes to legendary effects. So I'm pretty sure anti-armor is still the best for damage for non-bloodied users. Of course, if you are a bloodied build, then you want a bloodied Gatling gun to get maximum damage out of it. And then um, some other effects that might be pretty good would be, um, other effects that could be good would probably be like faster reload speed, um, if you could get that on there. Extra damage while aiming is like, okay. Uh, reduced weight wouldn't be too bad either. Instigating could kind of be okay, like if you do double damage if the target is full health, but I think overall anti-armor is still going to be quite better. I'm trying to remind myself of all of the legendary effects, but I think those are pretty much all the ones that are really worth noting. The main prefixes would just be um, anti-armor and bloodied, and then you know explosive is nice, or anything else that might add a little bit of damage, like faster fire rate or um, faster reload speed, or reduced weight is not too bad, extra damage while aiming is not too bad. Um, if you use VATS, then the VATS stats might help, but in my experience, most heavy weapon users don't use VATS. Um, but if you are a VATS build, then you know certain VATS will uh, help you out, like VATS criticals and less VATS cost, and then anti-armor bloodied, like that would be like a really good VATS version of the weapon. Uh, you could argue for two-shot being decent too, but I've messed around with two-shot weapons a couple times and it's not always that great. So I would say if you do roll a two-shot, maybe give it a little test run and see how you like it, but I personally don't like it because you lose a lot of the accuracy. Um, but yeah, I, I could see that being viable. And then I also want to mention that if you're looking for mods for the Gatling gun, um, you know, usually they still have the mechanic where if you scrap a Gatling gun, you get a chance of unlocking a mod for it. But there is also a chance that the Gatling gun mod will be sold at a couple of vendors, which would be the Enclave Bunker Armory vendor or the White Spring Lookout vendor or at the Watoga Plaza, where we uh, could also buy the plan from. Um, so every now and then I would check in with vendors and see if they're selling a, a plan that you can hopefully snag for some caps. Oh, one last little snippet that I want to mention <laughs> that I just remembered is ammo. Um, so it takes 5mm ammo, and with the Prime Receiver, it takes Prime 5mm ammo. And um, overall, for this gun, I've never really had a craft ammo. Even if you do have to craft it, it's very cheap, and there's a lot of crafting perks and buffs that can help you mass craft ammo. But essentially, you go into daily ops, and you just kill enemies with the gun. 
and you will maybe shoot them like oh, so maybe like a couple times if there's just like a weak humanoid one or two shots boom they're dead and then when you loot them for their ammo it'll give you a lot more shots in return uh like very like a lot a lot more shots and then that way you just constantly farm ammo and you will never really have to craft ammo ever <laughs> um so that's pretty much how i've been sustaining it i don't know if they've changed it since since uh, i've last played but i think that's pretty much it for this video guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed i i kind of for i hope i'm not leaving anything out you know it's been a while since i made 76 content so i feel like there is a possibility for me not making as thorough of a guide um but feel free to let me know if i did and uh yeah, until next time.